we're going to come to Coach Caldwell's back. One, because it's the truth. And two, because we have immense respect for Coach Caldwell. First of all, we were 11-5 and five in 2014 and a really good football team. 2015, we go 7-9. and nine. It's because we turned the football over. But the last eight games, we were 7-1. and one. So flipped our season around. The next two years, we're 9-7. and seven. And I believe in week 17, we were playing Green Bay in both years for the chance to win the division. Okay? So to come in and say that you had a lot of work to do is completely false. It's a bunch of trash because that wasn't the case in Detroit. We were a good football team. Matthew Stafford was playing as good as he has in his career. That was because of Coach Caldwell. And we were a, an organization that was ascending. He was building. And you know what? another thing, Z? Yeah. The culture was amazing. The culture was, was fantastic. So you had a winning record in three or four of your years. The culture was great. Your quarterback was playing really good football. So for him to come in and say that there was a lot of work to be done is a bunch of trash. Second of all, you know what Coach Caldwell wasn't? A finger pointer. Like what coach comes in and says, oh, well, what, I, when what, I got what, here. What did I say earlier? Yeah. I did this, Dan. I said. Finger pointing. I said the one thing I can sure tell you about that coach right there is he's doing this. He's looking straight ahead, but that left is going right. The right is going left. Finger point. Oh, all day long. And, and just finger point. It, and it's wrong. It's false. And for him to come to go <laughs> say that after being 10 and 25, to say that, to go, well, you know what? Before I got here, it was bad. Wasn't me. Here's the thing, coach. No, it wasn't. We have eyewitness accounts of it not being bad. It was actually really good. It was a great place to be. It was a great place to work. We loved playing for Coach Caldwell, and we were a good football team. Were we great? No, and here's the thing. When he was hired, the comment was, we need to take the next step as an organization. Th that was the comment from, I believe, ownership and their general manager, Bob Quinn, who I love and have respect for. We need to take the next step. It was built for growth, not regression, and they have regressed Massively. Well, what happens in these situations, and you know this, Dan, been around the league as long as you have, and just in general, when you talk about building an organization, Bob Quinn is is was in New England, so that thing built championships ever. They allow Coach Caldwell to get it to this point. So as I told you before, driving to work, riding on the buses, on the planes. When I get that job, I'm going to bring you in wherever I go. Mm -hmm. Just just sit tight. We're going to figure it out. Just let me get there. They thought that at 9-7, and seven, Matt Patricia would be able to come in, save the day, get rid of Coach Caldwell. They ride off and win the NFC, and everybody goes, see, great job Matt Patricia has done for this organization. They hold the trophy up. No. No, you tried to bamboozle the Detroit fans with that mess. Coach Caldwell was headed in the right direction. Yes. But you wanted to insert your own people in at a time where – much like he said, they're ascending. So now I place him there. He gets all the credit. Matt Patricia gets all the credit for building this great team. Screwed it up. Let's see if they blame him for that. Very interesting. I remember Quandre Diggs, before he got traded, he said, there's something going on in this locker room. Guys in this locker room just don't want to listen to him. And when you hear things like that. Because right. you, but you know, you, you know phony when you see it, though. You just do it. And, and again, I made this point. 2015, we were, we were turning the football over a ton on offense, and we were two and eight. We were two and eight, and somehow, or two and six, maybe. Somehow, he flipped our team around, and we won seven out of our last eight games, strictly by the leadership of Coach Caldwell. That's what they chose to move on from. They chose to move on from a guy, to Key's point, that had it headed in the right direction, that the locker room loved, and that would play their tails off for. Thought they was putting Matt Patricia in that, that driver's seat to, you know, hey, buddy, we want it all together. Let's celebrate. Nah, I've I got seen a big that. problem with those comments. I've seen, I've seen that before. Didn't I've seen that before. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.